Hi, my name's Vero, and today I'm at my butterfly house build to show you how I made this smooth rope bridge. As with many techniques in Frontiers, this has become a little bit easier, especially because ramps that are glitched to wires no longer cascade delete when we delete the wires, and so I thought I would update the video to show you how I do it. So let's take another look at rope bridges. I'm going to start off with my scaffolding here and we can adjust the drop and the steepness of our rope bridges by choosing different spacings for our scaffolding and changing the spacing of our ladder. Here I'm beginning with eight floors. If you consult my smooth curves video you will see I usually use light boxes for my ladders. So today I thought I would use short walls to mix it up a bit. I will use a small timber wall to mark the centre of my eight floors. I can now delete all of the floors apart from the two outer ones. Then at either end I will position a floor one further out and adjacency to a small floor which I will use to snap a light floor against which I will use for my wire ladder. So again in the outward direction I will position a light floor on either end. On the left hand side I will make sure that the mark between the tram lines on the top of the light floor is facing towards me and on the right hand side I will make sure that mark is facing away from me. While making this video I discovered that sometimes the wires could flip over. Take a look at my caution wire flip video for an explanation as to why this could happen and how to avoid it. Here I'm building up a ladder with short walls and part way up I will position another light floor in the same orientation as the one below it to avoid this wire flip. When I get to the eighth short wall, instead of placing it, I will reverse wire glitch and drag that wire to the top light floor. I will then move each floor in turn and do the same with the wire, dragging it to one of the light floors. This results in a ladder of upwards facing wires, each at a slight angle, but all perfectly aligned with the center of our construction. As we get to the bottom of the ladder, I will use the lower light floor. Then at the other end, I will simply build a mirror image of this ladder using the light floor that's pointing in the opposite direction to make sure that all of the wires are pointing upwards. At the centre I will select another small wall and snap it to the one there and then deleting that small wall, I will reposition it and reverse wire glitch and drag the wire to the bottom of the ladder on one side. This gives us the position of the middle of our rope bridge, which we will build up using ramps. First, I will blend a glitch a ramp to that point. You will notice I positioned a paving and a small paving nearby, so I can easily copy them. The length of a small paving is exactly the same 
as the length of a ramp. To position the second ramp, we need to find the leading edge of our curve. To do this, I will copy the large paver and glitch it onto exactly the same point. Then I will snap another one in the direction of our curve and delete the first one. Next, we will copy the small paver and snap this between the large paver and the ramp. So now if we reverse wire glitch, we have a point on our leading edge and we can pull the resulting wire to one step up on our ladder. Next, we blend a glitch a large paver onto this new leading edge point. And do exactly the same, snapping a large paver along the line, deleting the first one, and placing a small paver, which will now be positioned in the same place as our next ramp. We can reverse wire glitch this one and drag that to the same point on our ladder. As a reminder, when I use a point on the ladder for the second time, I delete the wire of that rung because we will not be pulling a wire to that one again. For the next leading edge point, we can copy the large paver, snap it further along the line, snap a small paver towards our bridge, and then move the large paver inside that. If we then reverse wire glitch this, it gives us our new leading edge, which we can pull to the next point up on our ladder. Now we can copy our ramp and glitch it onto our central point, giving us the first point on our curve. Finally, we can delete the wires on that first alignment. With our new leading edge, we can then blend a glitch a large paving and begin the process again. In this tutorial, I will focus on just one side of the ramp. The other side is exactly the same, only a mirror image. When we get to the top of the ladder, we will not have another rung to drag the leading edge to. So on one side of the complete bridge, we would drag the wire to the same rung. And then on the other side of the bridge, we can drag that leading edge wire to the top of the first leading edge. This leaves us with a level wire, which we can then use to position any platform or any anchor point for our rope bridge.
In this case, I will use pavings for the platforms and the end. Adjacency glitching from a large to small paver to make it perfectly aligned. A resulting rope bridge has a shallow incline and a nice long span. Depending on what we use for our platforms or anchors at the end, there can be a slight hitch when you step off of it. You could use a micro adjustment to lower the platform slightly. Or in my most recent bridge at the butterfly base, I used level ramps to smooth the way. You will notice also that this particular bridge is asymmetrical. As well as being a good deal steeper at one end. So there you have it, how to build rope bridges in No Man's Sky Frontiers. I hope you have fun with this. I've been Pharaoh, and goodbye.